today, fourth and last video, final details on the Weissrad. Overview to confirm the weak parts of the canvas to be in names with the final details. First of all, we realize that rocks need more details. So, we take a small brush and start darkening general tones, paying attention to the drawing of the shapes. The lighter part of the glazer also needs some work. We apply titanium white with a small brush to create contrast between the crevasses and the eyes profiles. On previous video, we had applied a middle gray tone on Glazer's gray shadow and we realize now that general contrast on canvas is way too strong. To avoid a dramatic artwork, we merge different blue tones such as steel and light cobalt blue with titanium white to top coat a lighter shade of shadow over the glazer. Once the light tone is ready, large areas of the previous color are covered with a medium brush, leaving small portions between the rocks to be covered with a small one. As a result, the overall contrast has been drastically reduced. Thanks to a second darkest shade that is applied with a medium brush over the shadow, we create a certain level of depth on the new glazer overlay. Mixing and testing a new flat sky color. I love it! Let's paint all over the clouds. Light blue to define crevasses and raw titanium white to highlight the lightest parts of the glazer. Last tone on the rocks and final inspection before approval. Weisshorn! Finally, Weisshorn is finished! 97 by 195 centimeters, 38 by 77 inches. I'm so happy. Now I'm gonna make some jeans and hand and vanish canvas to be sold at my e-commerce swissummits.com. And the question now is, which Swiss summit is gonna be next?